Hey, how's it going guys? Got another bag review for you. This is the Arcturix Camson 38. Uh, thank you so much to Young's Backpacking for hosting. Uh, let me start off by saying I probably wouldn't buy this bag, but it's not what you think. Um, see, when I buy a backpack, I like a lot of features, a ton of pockets and zippers and things like that. And that's just uh, what I look for when I buy a backpack. However, my hiking buddy that I usually go out on trails with, he has a different design philosophy when he goes and buys uh, gear. And he made a really good point the other day talking to me. He was saying that um, yes, I like to buy like backpacks with a lot of different pockets. It'll make it easier to find your stuff because once you put stuff in different pockets, you'll be able to find your gear more easily. But at the same time, when you break it up into different pockets, you're limiting the total amount of space that you have for the size of the item. So you can have a bunch of little pockets or by having one larger pocket to hold everything, um, you're going to be able to fit larger items uh, just because the space is consolidated. Yeah, it'll be hard to find items at first, but uh, you do have the luxury of being able to put larger items and that's how he likes things. And plus, um, he's the kind of guy that if he has too many pockets, he'll put something in a pocket and forget where it is and he'll spend like all day opening up all the pockets and emptying everything out. So he likes more of a streamlined design. So this is kind of a pack that he would dig. So this review is for him. So uh, let me just talk about the suspension. Also, uh, he tends to like really lightweight bags and the Camps 38, seriously, this is a really lightweight bag. If you guys are looking for something with a fair amount of capacity for a day bag and is streamlined and is uh, uh, lightweight, you might want to give this guy a shot. Uh, I love Artrix bags and like their construction. Anyways, just wanted to show you nice padded yet thin uh, shoulder strap. So this feels very uh, streamlined. Uh, actually, I put this on and it felt good for me. Um, Somebody might feel this is a little bit too thin, but I like thinner shoulder straps as long as they're well contoured and well engineered towards the body. We have a little bit of a back padding here with extra padding here for the lower lumbar. And I wouldn't say this is a spacer, but this is like a little bit of an area for uh, some space between your back and the back of the bat, pad, yeah, the, the pad of the bag so that uh, you don't get tied up. You have a functional thin waist belt that you can use. Just strap this around your waist, tighten it up, and then it'll draw the uh, weight of the bag towards your waist. But if you don't want to use this and you feel this is a little bit too cumbersome because you're carrying very little weight, what you can do is underneath this back panel here, it's held in by Velcro. You can't see it, but maybe I can make it so that you can hear it. You hear that? So if I undid the Velcro here, you can just slide out this waist belt from uh, behind here and then you don't have to wear the waist belt and then you can just stow this away inside the bag so that's a nice option you have adjustable sternum strap here for the shoulder straps i'm just going to fix that going to the back of the bag you have bungee for stowing uh, away items so if you have like a uh, say a sweater or a mid layer or fleece that you want to take off you can take it off and without having to undo the bag You just lace it through the bungee here and tighten it up then on either side right here Actually, let's show you at the bottom on either side You have uh, two adjustable loops that you can use as ice axe loops uh, You can tighten it by just tightening up on these straps and then you can lace it here through the top You have two velcro loops so you can use them to secure something like say an ice axe or whatever or pole, trekking poles or uh, whatever you want. Uh, this is a top loading design, which is a sack with a lid. If you go to the top here for the lid, there's a zipper pocket, which allows you access to the lid. And it's all just basically one single compartment here at the top. And one nice touch that I did like is, if you look here at the top of the lid, you have a daisy chain, so you can use this to loop items if you want to, like say a pad or a bag, a sleeping bag or something like that. Uh, the lid is held in place by two clasps. And then to open up the bag, the main compartment of the bag, you just undo this clasp and then it's held also tightened by this drawstring cord. If you open this guy up, you just have that one single compartment. One thing I would have liked, it's a black interior, would have liked a lighter color just to make it easier to find items, especially if they're all inside one single compartment, would have liked a lighter color interior, but that's the only hit I'll give for that. And then right here, this is where you can access the frame of the bag. So basically you undo this Velcro strip right here. And if you want to, just grab this tab and you pull and you can pull out the plastic back panel and it's reinforced with this one single aluminum stay. And you can pull this panel all the way out like so. And if you wanted to, I guess you could use this as a sitting pad. I would not recommend that though. Leave it inside the bag just because you don't want to wear down on this thing. 
this is the frame of your bag and I don't know if you can get it replaced by our trick so I would just leave it inside the bag. I would only pull it out in case of emergency if you really needed to use it uh, to sit down on. But that's about it. But it's nice to know that you have access to the back panel if you need it. Or you could use this as a hidden pocket to store valuable flat items like say cash. But uh, I leave it up to you to use your own um, reasoning and good judgment to do so. So, I'm just gonna tighten this guy up, fix this clasp. Do this right here, and this right here. And that's it, this is the Arteryx Cam 38. Nice, simple design, lightweight. If you're looking for a simple bag and you don't want things too complicated, uh, you might wanna give this bag a look. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.